like, comment and subscribe. US vs India KFC. This is gonna be good. Yeah. I watched the Domino's version of this and that was quite entertaining. So let's see how this compares. US vs India KFC. I think I ate one like a few days ago, so it's fresh in my memory. From exclusive items to portion sizes, we want to find out all the differences between KFC in India and the US. This is Food Wars. Portion sizes tend to always be bigger have in America. Sandwiches, a crisper and a zinger. In yeah. the US, we have two chicken sandwiches. What the, the heck? Chicken little, cause it's little, and what the is pork, that? The Kentucky Fried Chicken, okay. chicken sandwich. The class. That's pretty and much it. Yeah. Wait them to see how much. They wait. What's the chicken litter? <laughs> why why would anyone want that? In a very long time. All right, first that the you might as well just get one of those popcorn chicken chickens. Oh, Next up, yeah. chicken zingo. 240 grams for the classic That's close chicken enough. sandwich. This thing is a work of art. All right, on to chicken popcorn. Here in India, we have the three yeah. sizes. Regular, medium, I didn't no. know that. We're it... gonna weigh our large popcorn to see how much we get. <laughs> I actually really love chicken popcorn. I have an idea. We should weigh one popcorn chicken and add that back to the total. Yeah. My bad. My bad. They should serve this in movie theaters. I don't like yeah. this popcorn anymore. Hmm. I mean, I it's probably a lot a harder to make a lot of it. it. What? Sesame Seed? We don't have that. Alright, you guys are lucky. What? That's not really nice. We only have one size up onto the website and the cash I want to, and that is this. Well, it's definitely gonna be big. <laughs> 250 grams of popcorn okay. chicken. Oh, <laughs> it's so good! Of course. Unfortunately, here in India, we do not have mashed potatoes, but that would be pretty awesome. Uh, have I have no idea. Fans of them, and they come in two sizes. Of course. Medium and large. And... Oh, it's so good! Unfortunately, here in India, we do not have mashed potatoes, but that would be pretty awesome. Nah, we do I don't think rice. that many people would like it. And they come in two sizes. This, yes. And They're very good. Large. And in the US, we also have two sizes of fries at KFC. The individual, for an individual, and the large. Also for an individual. Oh, and that's now, the large to see how much you get. That's 140 wrong. grams. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> that's never enough funny. That's the third time that's happened, and it's always funny. Look at that block of fries. Our largest fries. That is quite a thing. That's pretty much our plan. 150. Our smallest is bigger than their largest. That's even bigger. In KFC India, we can get a chicken in six portion sizes. Number one, the single piece. Two piece. What? They like to give <laughs> Who the hell one has the one piece? One piece. Kind. The one piece. The one piece. The one piece. Four piece. Leg piece to talk about. The leg piece on top, as they say. Like cherry on top. No? Okay. No. Now we move on to buckets. We have four sizes. The big. first one is a five-piece bucket that comes with only uh -huh. leg pieces and also does not come in a bucket for some reason. Why? I want a bucket. That's Next up we have a six-piece bucket, an eight-piece bucket, and the largest one of them all, a ten-piece leg bucket. Yeah. Woo! Good. It's a lot of chicken. In the US, our KFC chicken comes in seven portion sizes. Seven? You can get a cart, two-piece with a combo, Three piece with a combo. Oh. Four piece with a combo. Then buckets. Mm. That one? Yeah. Okay. We have an eight piece. Yeah, eight pieces. I did math. <laughs> That's it. It had taken on fucking fifteen of them. And mm. our largest bucket, the sixteen piece. Ready. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I would, that doesn't yeah. even look nice to Next eat. Next up, you're gonna need a drink to wash all that chicken down. Here in India, we don't serve cups, we just serve cans. We have Pepsi, 7-Up, yeah. Mirinda, which is an orange soda, Red Bull, and yeah. a Pepsi pet bottle. 
Although these will vary from store to store. In some yeah. places they might not serve classic, and some places you might not get these drinks. You might get something else. They also mm-hmm. serve something called a virgin mojito crusher. Yeah, those ones. They don't deliver, unfortunately. But uh, here's an image of it. Refreshing. American it's quite good. In these following sizes: the regular, which is 20 ounces, and the large, which is 30 ounces. And hey, look at that there. If you want, yeah. you can also get half a gallon bag of your favorite drink. What? What? Are they wholesalers or something? Why would Why would anyone do that? Who is buying fucking an entire gallon of just? What? Why do they have that? In KFC of all things. Mm. It's, it's convenient. Is it? <sighs> that looks like you're just drinking those petrol. Here is everything you find on the menu at KFC India that you won't get in the US. Here's A lot more. You oh. can find at KFC in the US. Never mind. I... Go find in India. Take a look in India. Take a good look. Okay, let's start with chicken. In India, apart from the crispy chicken, we also get smoky red chicken. Ooh. Do we? Wow. I believe this is KFC's answer to tandoori chicken. Oh. If you guys don't know what a tandoori is, it's basically a cylindrical oven that they light up using wood fire or charcoal and it has a really smoky flavor to the meat, so breads that you cook inside of it. I doubt KFCs across the country have an actual tandoori. I doubt it. But flavoring definitely looks like that. The marinade looks like that. I mean, it seems good. That's actually pretty good. You know what, KFC? Pretty good job. You have to remember KFC is competing with a lot of Mughlai restaurants across every Indian city. And while this doesn't I mean, pretty much every restaurant has this. You can't really. Compete. It has a lot of flavor and the chicken is quite juicy. Good job. It's super spicy though, so if you're somebody who can't handle spice, go a little easier on this one. When an Indian says something spicy, it's spicy. I believe I love that. I believe That's kind of the point of it being spicy. red. We isn't unfortunately it? don't really have anything too spicy on the menu for the like chicken and the bone options. That's really, the only thing that we have here that apparently you guys don't have is something that is like what I associate Kentucky Fried Chicken with is extra crispy. I don't know if it's extra crispy, but it is, as you can imagine. I mean, that looks pretty much just like normal ticket. I mean, I'm assuming it's extra, extra crispy. crispy. It's far superior to the regular way of chicken. I think it should be the other way around. Like, this should be the regular and the other should be like half crispy. You know what I mean? This is, all, this is way better. Alright, let's move on to chicken sandwiches. Here in India, we don't have an American chicken sandwich, but yeah. we have a zinger and a smaller sandwich called a crisper. I don't think I've ever seen a crisper. He wants to grow up and be a zinger someday. We also come two ways, a spicy crisper and a tandoori zinger. Let's taste all Ah, yeah. Oh, pretty yum. They've used a different kind of mayonnaise here. It has a bit of sweetness to it and a spicy kick at the end. And now for the legendary Zinger. Um, back in yeah. the day, there were only two fast food chains here in India. There's McDonald's and KFC. And back like in the day. Affordable burger options. The KFC Zinger mm. is so delicious. Yeah. It's always a treat to eat. Mm. And it still is. I love that they it is very good. Boneless piece of proper chicken in there. Delicious mayo. It's so delicious. Okay, now let's try the spicy variants. This I don't is think I've ever crisper. even seen that this anywhere. Sauce. It's almost blood red. I'm sorry. Oh my god. The sauce almost has a Shezwan taste to it. Hmm. Next up, Zinger. That's interesting. Tandoori. Mm. I think that's I the good, yeah. The thickness of the chicken that comes in these burgers. Versus, you know, like a minced chicken patty in other restaurants. There's so much mm. bite to it, so juicy, tender. That all sounds amazing! Stop, you're going too fast! I have to say, those sandwiches look delicious, <laughs> and I am jealous. One sandwich you get here in the US, can't get in India, is this little guy, the chicken little. Would anyone want that? The chicken tender. What the heck? In between tiny little buns, pickles. 
Goodbye. Hey. Get ready to find those. Yeah, that head like, just stuff. looks like a chicken wing with bread. That looks good. Also, pickles. Anyhow, get off on my sandwich. But it has this really creamy nail sauce on it. Bun. Their buns seem quite different, to be honest. Other fair. chicken stuff we got here. Yank cats. Start over here, Nashville hot tender chicken. Here, this I think is the spiciest thing you get at the KFC menu. And really? this wrap, like I've had this one, is out pretty good. They're really crispy, really. When I hear that crisp again. Yes, am I? Not sure if it's made over in India yet. It is called a chicken pie. Pie. That's a pie. I don't think it's. it's never being I don't think I've ever even heard of it anywhere they here. I think I've only heard of pot pies in general in America. This has got some weight to it. This is a meal right here. This is not something. I don't know where is the menu, but... Whew. This right here, the KFC Family Sandwich. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mashed potatoes, corn, uh, the uh, popcorn chicken, oh. cheese, and gravy. All in a convenient bowl. That, that sounds quite good. Popcorn chicken, mashed the potatoes, everything. It's exactly what I would think this would taste. It's just a bunch of this stuff. In <laughs> yes, in India, you can get wings of the KFC. But our thing. KFC in the US, you can get your wings sauced. And we have three different sauces. Oh. Honey barbecue, buffalo. National hot. I mean, I've so many like sauces and stuff. Hi, I don't think I've seen it anywhere else. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm the next one. The South has been insulted. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'll be right back. Oh wow. Alright, moving away from chicken, India's KFC actually has vegetarian alternatives oh, yeah. for all our burgers. Of course it does. There is a vegetarian crisper, a vegetarian spicy crisper and a vegetarian zinger. Now, while India has a majority population of non-vegetarians, around 70%, there is a huge vegetarian population, which is why a lot of fast food restaurants have to make sure they have a lot of vegetarian options on their menu yeah. to make it more approachable and acceptable for all people over here. There's also levels to vegetarianism over here. There are, I will eat egg, but not chicken vegetarians. There uh, are, I will eat fish, but not lamb vegetarians. There are, barely. I will eat the curry, but not the pieces vegetarians. There are yeah. vegetarians only on Tuesdays vegetarians. There are I, yeah. I promise to God for this one month vegetarians. Yeah. There are I am vegetarian, so you will all be vegetarian vegetarians. There I don't think that takes it. We try not to talk about that. Which is why barely KFC India brands itself as just KFC. There's no Kentucky Fried Chicken anywhere here because obviously I'm not going to go to a place that's named that. If I and one ask of these three types of vegetarians. One iconic dish that you'll find on the KFC India menu is biryani. And so KFC India has taken a very oh, bold yeah. decision of to launch their own biryanis. If you don't know what biryani is, you are living under a gigantic <laughs> boulder, my friend. Hey, guess I live under boulder because I unfortunately am not familiar. Oh, with see. <laughs> but I would love to know more about it. It is good. Hello, so, I am Christelle Pereira and I'm a cook and a baker and you may know me as a finalist for the Great British Bake Off. Oh, shit. Sure. This is biryani. Now, biryani... That doesn't look like a good biryani. What are they? Wait. Let's go back to that closer. Is it wet? Now, biryani is a typical rice dish you buy in does not look Asia, good. And the way you make it is in layers. My dad is a biryani master at home. And the way he makes it is with cooked rice. Biryani and a posh accent this is just quite funny to you. There's some fried onions and curry. We like to go for a muffin biryani, but you can get chicken or chicken in this case. Vegetarian biryani. We absolutely love it and we always eat it as oh, a it is with a lovely pot it, of corn it, right it, inside, it, which is a lovely corn and yogurt dish, which goes really Who do you want to know when like to actually and have veg biryani? Because you have it in a big pot and you all take scoops. And I actually don't think I've ever eaten biryani by myself or one person. 
Now, uh, we have to talk about I mean, this KFC biryani yeah. because for me, biryani, it, it's a home, she make it in a home kitchen. It's cooked by... Yeah, family. I mean, I barely and have KFC biryani. KFC biryani, those two words just, just don't go to for me. Just to give you guys context of what it's like to be Indian and eat a biryani at KFC, <laughs> it's like being Italian and eating a pasta at Domino's. Yeah. God, thank you. Continue. They come in four flavors. Number one, classic chicken, nice and crispy. Number two, popcorn chicken. Number three, Wait, the this is the bit bit Oh yeah, this is the bit bit And number four, the veg patty, which what is so tempting to just push that to the side. A veg patty bit. Veg biryani in general, like nobody likes. Who has the veg patty and then just decide to call it a biryani? Not a fan. Just because there's rice. What? Just for... Just for now, you can, you can stick. Okay, I'm going to begin with the popcorn chicken biryani. I have never heard of uh, popcorn chicken biryani. What the fuck? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's not a biryani. Yeah. It's... Of course. I'm Fried so chicken in a no. biryani, wait. This one. I didn't even eat it. Has a bit of that tandoori vibe to it. They really try to overcompensate with the spices. It's a lot of clove flavor. Just to convince you you're eating a biryani, so go easy on that curry. Of course. I'm good I think I was hungry. Not a biryani. That biryani yes. was real depressing. I'm sorry. Oh, you have. Yeah. yeah. Which are? Mashed potatoes. I can't believe you guys have mashed potatoes. It feels like this is like... Nah. I mean, that doesn't biscuits. look like good biscuits. ones. Yeah, no biscuits. Coleslaw. This. What? Biz? What are these? I can't believe you guys have mashed potatoes. That's just bread. Like stuff I know he called it biscuits. Biscuits. But I call biscuits like Oreos Coleslaw. and stuff. What? What biscuits? Why is that? Just dough. Something. Also, this tiny dish of just gravy, and what? of course, paper. New country, new sauces, y'all know yeah. what that means! First one, I mean, the KFC sauce. Why this isn't at every KFC internationally, I have no yeah, idea. That, that. <laughs> that sauce. KFC sauce is not in KFC. The subscribe counter product. Uh, honey barbecue? I don't know what that means. Mustard. Also. That's not your thing? Never heard of. Honey. And of course you got classic ranch. You just have honey on chicken. What? That doesn't seem no, right. Sure. No, no. I mean honey is supposed no. to be sweet, doesn't it? India does not have too many exclusive dips. In fact, you just have a veg, eggless mayonnaise and a tandoori yeah. masala mayonnaise. It's time to taste. And using the same hand because in India we don't eat with our left hand. Yeah. If you're wondering why, commenters, you let them know. <laughs> Let's tell you why I've got ass with your left hand. <laughs> Fucking Bollywood ass. So, I did that. Good job on that. Mayonnaise again, with a little bit of a sweet but also spicy kick to it. Oh yeah, the tandoori mayonnaise is... There are so many... It's mint, it looks great. Chicken options, I'd love to be able to dip my tenders in more sauces. That is a weird sentence. For those of you with a sweet tooth, we have two exclusive dessert options. Chocolate chip cake. Fucking hell, is that just a cake? Yes. Chocolate chip cake. An entire t- what? Here in India we have two exclusive desserts. That's why we have more. A pie and a coffee mousse cake. Yeah, that, that's good. Oh Just look at this cross section, my friend. Next up, <laughs> coffee mousse cake. Yeah, um, these are pretty average as desserts. Yeah. Drinks! Realistic. Drinks! Drinks! What the hell do you have so much? The exclusive section. Exclusive drinks you get in the US you cannot get in India. What? Come do. Come back, baby. I mean, mm. you yeah, probably could get somewhere. You know, KFC 
has got the exclusive Mountain Dew Sweet Light. The Mountain Dew Sweet Light is like peach Mountain Dew. Pete. Mm. This is a Pete Mountain Dew. That does not sound real. Why would you want fizzy peach flavor? I have not even heard of that. And of course, sweet. Oh yeah, I have. Whoa, yeah. that's like really sweet. Oh, it's really good. Exclusive drinks in KFC India. We have a Red Mania, Bull, what? which is an orange soda, and Red Bull. Let's talk I don't about think that's incredibly uh, fucking exclusive. Really you could probably find a Red Bull within five meters of the KFC. Mirinda. Sure. <laughs> Which country is getting the better team? Well, us, because the rupees worth like fucking nothing compared to the dollar. So, I, if if they are getting better value for money, we are being fucking scammed. Getting the better deal on its KFC. Let's compare a few menu items to find out. Both countries offer eight piece chicken bucket. Here in LA, one of these goes for $19.99. If you order a chicken bucket here at KFC India, it will cost you 699.05 yeah, rupees. Yeah, I'd... Specific, that's more like it. currently 9.15 US dollars. That makes the American 80s bucket 118% more expensive of course. than the one in India. Is making the meal account of the US price out at all? Take this kind of I'm assuming. with fries and a drink. It will send you back in America nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Seven ninety for that is a single meal where you can get yeah. a chicken sandwich, some medium fries, and three hundred. I think three hundred ninety yep. point zero five rupees or four point one eight US dollars. In obviously, America, everything is like so twice as expensive in America. There's <laughs> like obvious if if KFC tried to sell with American prices. Not a single so person is buying it. Yeah. This contains four pieces of hot and crispy chicken, six hot wings, four boneless strips, hmm. three drinks, and three dips. Yeesh! Yes. In fact, you can throw in a chocolate manpa as dessert and still get all of this for much cheaper than that the That was quite a smooth transition, I read but that. Is it really that cheap here in India? Got no, enough. because two-thirds of India is still under the poverty line, and for them, this meal is still very aspirational. Nobody's they having this. Two dollars below that. Sorry to be a donor, but this is still a. I am a fairly upper middle class person. I am never buying this shit. I'm telling you, like, I I have pretty much not struggled for money, and the day I'm buying this much is like an absolute party. <laughs> this is not common at all. Meal that is only available to the really privileged here in India. Unfortunately, KFC does not share a full list of ingredients with the public. It's actually the same in the U.S. That All KFC really good. shares with the public is a list of allergies. So what do we know oh. about KFC? Well, the KFC India website has a couple of clues. We know that all of our chicken is farmed here and not imported. And all of it is 100% whole muscle chicken. Mm. That means it's made from whole pieces of chicken and not cut together minced chicken like you find in chicken nuggets. In fact, the website says they have an open kitchen policy and what that means is anybody can walk into a KFC and apparently ask for a kitchen tour and you yeah, can you go can. to the kitchen, I'm look at everything in. and ask as many questions as you want. I you can really. In my entire life. You can just walk in, see I stuff in several and then kitchens, get out. And I'll straight up. I was in the kitchen working and some dude walks in and is like, I get a tour of the kitchen and be like, yeah, here's your tour. There's the exit. Definitely can't do that in the United States. Don't go into a KFC chicken and get yeah. in the door. The KFC US website also gives us some hints about the ingredients it uses over here. For instance, all of our chicken is raised at US Farm to the USDA and FDA's standards. Well, that's so that means there are no so. added hormones or steroids in American KFC chicken. Not right enough. As of 2019, Young Brands, the parent company of KFC, stopped purchasing chicken raised using antibiotics. Indian chicken huh. farmers were previously criticized for overusing antibiotics. As recently mm. as 2018, the Bureau of Investigative Journalism found out that a lot of Indian farmers were feeding steam to their chickens as a growth promoter without any medical shit. supervision. Coal steam is known as the antibiotic of the last resort. Holy 
Oh, so, yeah. if we give a chicken <laughs> spore skin, then the humans who consume it might become resistant to it. In fact, they can develop an uh, antibiotic resistance to the bug. That's not good. Yuri, this sounds like the plot to a horror movie. Fuck yeah. What is he talking about? <laughs> that is terrifying. I can mean, assume we don't do that here. And if we do, oh god. But when the report came out talking about the ill effects of colistin, India ended up banning it completely okay. so we're safe from colistin at last. We should also point out that the KFC India website is in major need of an update. There is an FAQ page where people have asked things like, how many calories does this chicken have? Or, sometimes I see red deposits in my chicken. What is it? And for almost huh? all of these questions, the answers are just filler text. So if you ask me what those red deposits are, I genuinely don't know. Uh, that's not good. Blind, I don't know. <laughs> is KFC providing healthcare to employees? KFC response. Standard dummy tax ever since the 1500s, when an unknown printer took a dictionary <laughs> of type and scrambled it to make type specimen book. What? What's KFC doing for the safety of their staff? One of them is a simple dummy tax of the printing and typesetting industry. Yeah, they got to take this What the heck? How do you fuck that up? <laughs> 